Stargate, which was based on Dean Devlin and Roland Emmerich's 1994 sci-fi blockbuster, Stargate, debuted a year after the film and lasted 10 seasons and 214 episodes, generating two feature-length films and two spin-off shows. It isn't surprising that the amazing ensemble which brought these complicated characters to life on screen is, however, one of the most essential parts of Stargate SG-1's popularity. But what have the original show's actors been up to? Let's check on how the cast of Stargate has changed since then. Richard Dean Anderson – Jack O'Neill Richard Dean Anderson, the original MacGyver, took over from Kurt Russell in the movie to play Jack O'Neill for all ten seasons of the program, skipping the first spin-off film, The Ark of Truth, but appearing in the second, Continuum. Anderson's on-screen appearance had been restricted to cameos in Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment 23 and Rising Hope as well as a comeback as MacGyver in the Mercedes-Benz online series, MacGyver in the New Sighton. While Anderson has attended a number of conferences in recent years, he has mostly kept his personal life private and has effectively retired. He is also a member of the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society's Board of Advisors, which is dedicated to conserving marine life and teaching the public about the threat it confronts. Michael Shanks – Daniel Jackson Michael Shanks featured in all ten seasons of Stargate SG-1 and two films, however, he only had a reoccurring role in season six, when brilliant scientist Daniel Jackson, played by James Spader in the film, ascended after season five before returning to human form in season seven. Shanks had guest appearances in Atlantis and Universe, as well as parts in 24, Burn Notice, Eureka, and Sanctuary, which reunited him with Stargate SG-1 co-star Amanda Tapping before starring in the supernatural medical thriller Saving Hope for Season 5. He is now married to Lexa Dewey, whom he met while guest starring on Andromeda and with whom he worked on Stargate SG-1 Season 9 and 10. Shanks has a daughter from a previous relationship who portrayed Daniel Jackson's wife and they have two children together. Amanda Tapping – Samantha Carter Amanda Tapping had a recurrent role in Stargate Atlantis, taking over as the new commander of the Atlantis expedition in Season 4 of the spin-off program. In addition to her appearance in all ten seasons, two movies, and a universe cameo, Tapping went on to star in all four seasons of Sanctuary and Supernatural, season 8, as Angel Naomi, who was killed before reappearing in the season 13 episode, Funeralia. She has also directed several television programs, including Dark Matter, Continuum, not to be confused with the Stargate SG-1 film, and Supernatural. Actra, the Alliance of Canadian Cinema Television and Radio Artists, awarded her Woman of the Year honors in 2015. Christopher Judge – Teelik Christopher Judge appeared in every episode of Stargate SG-1 except one, as well as in both spin-off movies in Atlantis, and wrote four episodes of the show during its existence. Since then, Judge has played one of Bane's, Tom Hardy's minions in shows like The Mentalist and NICS Los Angeles, as well as films like Sharknado 3 and The Dark Knight Rises. He takes over the voice of Kratos in God of War 4 after his performance as Magneto in X-Men Evolution. Don S. Davis – George Hammond Don S. Davis had previously been in TV programs such as Twin Peaks and The X-Files, as well as films such as Look Who's Talking, Hook, and Cliffhanger, among others, before joining Stargate SG-1. He was a main cast member of Stargate SG-1 for the first seven seasons, before stepping down due to health issues in the last two seasons. Sadly, David died of a heart attack in 2008, and the creators of Stargate Atlantis honored him by calling a spacecraft George Hammond after his character. In an unfortunate coincidence, Hammond died of a heart attack in a Season 4 episode of Stargate SG-1, which aired in 2001. Davis was also a U.S. Army captain and an artist who supplemented his income by selling paintings, sculptures, and sketches in addition to performing. Terrell Rothery – Janet Frazier Terrell Rothery appeared in Eureka, Supernatural, Kyle XY, Hallmark Channel drama Cedar Cove, and Battlestar Galactica prequel series Caprica after starring in 77 episodes as dependable chief medical officer Janet Frazier until the character was killed off in Season 7. Rothery recently appeared in several theater productions in her hometown of Vancouver, including Kiss Me, Kate, Good Boys and True, and A Delicate Balance, where she reprised her role as Jean Loring in Season 6 of Arrow. She also plays JL on The Good Doctor and has appeared in Kiss Me, Kate, Good Boys and True, and A Delicate Balance. Gary Jones – Walter Harriman You may not recognize Gary Jones as Walter Harriman or just know him as Chevron Guy, but his job as the Stargate operator was crucial to Stargate SG-1, as the teams would not have been able to get anywhere without him. 
Jones repeated his role in Atlantis and Universe, but other than cameo appearances in Timeless, Supernatural, and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, he hasn't had many on-screen roles since. Claudia Black, Vala Maldoran Vala Maldoran was intended to be a one-off character, but Farscape actor Claudia Black was such a sensation that she was invited back as a recurrent character before being appointed a regular cast member in the final season and participating in both spin-off films. It led to Farscape jokes on the show, particularly in the meta episode 200, and Black has subsequently appeared in the Vampire Diaries spin-off, the originals, and the short series Containment. She's also voiced characters in the Uncharted, Mass Effect, and Gears of War video game franchise. Ben Broder Cameron Mitchell Ben Broder's Cameron Mitchell joined Farscape co-star Claudia Black as the new commanding officer of Stargate SG-1 in seasons 9 of the show and led the crew until the end of the show, as well as earning a handy promotion to Colonel between the two spin-off movies. Browder has subsequently appeared in guest parts on Chuck, Arrow, CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, and other shows, including the seventh series episode of Doctor Who, A Town Called Macy. He also appeared as Sovereign Admiral of Aisha's fleet in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, but you might not have seen him behind the gold makeup. Stargate may not have achieved some heights as Star Trek or Star Wars, but it did manage to carve out a niche in the crowded science fiction field by making the spacecraft obsolete. The franchise's eponymous gadgets, portals that allow for fast travel between distant planets via wormholes, set it apart from the plethora of space-based sci-fi franchises of the time. They originally appeared in Roland Emmerich's Stargate, a film that received mixed reviews when it was released in 1994. However, the box office results were much different. On its way to a worldwide gross of almost $200 million, Stargate established a new opening weekend record for October, convincing MGM to greenlight a trilogy. Of course, that trilogy was never completed, not yet at least. MGM opted to take the television way instead of Emirates' Independence Day. Stargate SG-1 was first followed by Stargate Atlantis, Stargate Universe, and Stargate Origins, a prequel series. Only two characters from Emmerich's original Stargate film made the transition to television, with the others opting for various routes with varying degrees of success. So that's it for the recent news of our Stargate cast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.